Hey, 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 what's up guys? <laughs> Hello guys, this is Sir Boyet of Sir Boyet Science Vlog and welcome to my channel. Discuss why some materials are good conductors of heat and electricity. Good day, have you ever cooked with a pan? Did you notice that it is made of metal, like aluminum? But why is the handle made of wood or plastic? Why is the handle not too hot? Do you know why electrical wires are made of metals such as aluminum and copper? Why are the metal wires wrapped in rubber or plastic? What is its purpose? Today, we are going to discuss why some materials are good conductors of heat and electricity. Before we proceed, let us know first the difference between conductors and insulators. Remember that there are materials that are known to be conductor and there are those that are known non-conductors or insulators. Conductors are materials that absorbs and transmit electricity and heat while insulators are materials that do not absorb and do not transmit electricity and heat. Examples of insulators are glass, plastic, ceramic, rubber, wood, fabric, paper, wool, and cork. Most insulators are used as safety devices to allow electric charges to flow along the right path. Although electricity flows along a metal path, it cannot pass through insulators like rubber. Examples of conductors are copper, aluminum, steel, graphite, gold, mineral water, and some metals. When you are cooking, the energy transfer of heat from stove to the food must occur effectively. However, it is important that the handle does not get uncomfortably hot. The metal pan is a conductor and the plastic or wooden handle is an insulator. So the pan heats up easily while the handle doesn't get too hot. This is done on purpose so that we don't get burnt while cooking. Plastic, rubber, or wood are thermal insulators. Thermal insulators do not allow heat to pass or flow through them. All metals are good conductors of electricity, so they are good materials for making electrical wires. And they are wrapped with an insulator such as rubber or plastic so that whoever touches them cannot be electrocuted. The electric wire you used is covered or insulated with rubber or plastic materials. The insulator prevents a short circuit. The short circuit usually happens when current flows along the conductor by passing the resistor or load. Example of conductors. These are materials that allow heat and electricity to pass through them. Iron, water, steel, gold, silver, brass, copper, and aluminum are good conductors. While insulators, these are materials that do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them. Examples are salt, glass, rubber, plastic, leather, oil, and cotton. Why do some materials conduct electricity? Why do some materials conduct electricity? It is simple. There are some materials that in their atoms have free electrons. Electrons 
are negative charged particles that can move freely. These negatively charged particles serve as the means of electricity transportation in a conductor. If materials have a lot of electrons inside them, and there is a space where the electrons can move freely, they become good conductors of electricity. Usually, these materials are called metals. Metals conduct electricity better than other solids. This is the reason why you can charge your cell phone through metals. Because electrons can move freely and transfer electrical energy from the charger to the battery of your cell phone. The flow of electrons in closed path is called a circuit. Due to this circuit, electrons can move around. When an electricity is applied across the metal, the electric field causes electrons to move one end of the conductor to the other. Current electricity flows along a path made of metal. Metals like silver, copper, and aluminum wires are good conductors of electricity. Conductors transport electricity from the source to the load. Why do some materials conduct heat? Heat is simply energy of the particles such as electrons, atoms, ions, or molecules moving back and forth in a conductor. Because they can move anywhere, they can vibrate faster or slower. In solid atom, atoms cannot move, it will only vibrate. The way a material conducts heat depends on whether it is solid, liquid, or gas. Gases are poor conductors of heat than liquid and solid because their atoms or molecules are far apart, making it harder for them to collide with each other. And so solid is the best conductor of heat because their particles are very close to each other. This is needed in the transfer of heat. Through conduction, materials will increase their temperature because the heat can easily flow in them. Cooking pots and pans made of metals make cooking faster because they quickly allow heat transfer from the flame to the food being cooked. Metals are thermal conductors. Thermal conductors are materials that can transfer heat easily. Metals are particularly good conductors of heat because their particles are very closely packed, so the vibrations are passed on very quickly. There are two factors why some materials are best conductor of heat and electricity than other materials, and these are the following. Number one, number of freely moving electrons. Most ordinary metals have many electrons per volume. If a metal have many moving electrons, they become more conductors compared to others. The movement of the electrons is the main reason why materials, particularly metals, conduct electricity and heat as well. Number 2. Speed of freely moving electrons The faster the freely moving electrons, the faster would the material conduct heat and electricity. So why some materials are good conductors of heat and electricity? When electricity or heat passed in the metal, particles called electrons carry the electricity or heat and spread it all over from one material to another. Copper wires are widely used for electrical wiring because they are ductile and are good conductors of electricity, while steel and aluminum are good conductors of both heat and electricity. They contain large number of free electrons. This makes them move faster and they travel through the metal. 
colliding with both atoms and other electrons. Did you learn a lot today? Well, that's it for this lesson. Until next time.